Uh, my name's Liam Phillips. Uh, I'm a BMX racer. Um, I've raced for you know, 18 years now, and this is my second Olympics. Yeah, I don't think that you can prepare for, you know, there's going to be 6,000 Brits, you know, screaming uh, at, <laughs> on Wednesday. So there's no way that you're going you're gonna to fully prepare for that. Um, but, you know, I know that I would much rather have you know, 6,000 people cheering for me than, than I would a, a competitor. So, you know, it's certainly something to look forward to. For me, you know, it's pretty much the only opportunity that we've had to experience, you know, the home crowd and, and a massive sort of event in a backyard as such. Um, and I was looking to, to take as many positives from that, uh, that race as possible. So to go out and, and time trial well um, and come away with the medal from the World Championships is, you know, is obviously perfect. Well, obviously, I, I time trialled well the night before and, and come away with the silver. Um, and you know, I was in fantastic form. I, you know, I was in the best shape of my life, and you know, I knew that. Um, yeah, I knew that the the chances of success were high due to that. Um, and I crashed first round. You know, it's you know they, those sorts of rounds are when you're just going through the motions, and you know there wasn't any pressure on me. It was my own mistake, and, and I come down and. I broke my sh broke my collarbone and my shoulder blade and you know several different um, bits and pieces and you know I'm extremely lucky to be able to sit here ten weeks on from uh, from then and you know sort of laugh about it really and you know it could have been way worse but I'm fortunate to be to be sat here and, and in great shape going into the Olympics. I switched to track cycling um, the summer before again due to injury. Um, I crashed and had uh, surgery on my on my left wrist and my left elbow. Um, and actually, at the time, it wasn't clear whether I was, you know, going to be able to continue my career. Um, you know, being told that at, at the time, 22 years old, you know, it's, it's not ideal. So I switched to I switched to the track, and you know, I spent seven months on the track, and you know, that allowed me to come to terms with you know, the, the injuries that I'd had previously on the BMX bike, and the fact that I didn't want to race anymore. You know, I was sick to death of, of injuries and. You know, constantly two steps forward, one step back. I mean, that's that's a hard road to, to go down. Um, but yeah, I mean, I come out the other side of that and, and really learned that um, you know, BMX is what I enjoy. It's you know, it's that's my passion, and yeah, I'm you know glad to be back. It's so hard to be able to commit to to a sport that um, you know ultimately you're not passionate about. I think that you know it's perhaps where I'm at in my career. You know, I'm 23 years old, and while I still feel like you know I can genuinely have a lot of success on the BMX bike. It's always going to be hard to, to sort of, yeah, put that bike away and, and and get on the track. So, for me, it was just the fact that I didn't get a buzz from from the track cycling. Um, you know, that's not to say that, you know, in, in the next Olympics or the the Olympics after that, that wouldn't be something that I would look to. Obviously, my BMX career can only last so long. So. You know, it's it's nothing against track cycling. It's nothing against you know any of the athletes who compete. It's just the fact that you know BMX for me is you know it's been a huge part of my life, and that's you know where I feel like you know my passion lies. Yeah, but um, my golfing career has been firmly put on hold. Um, I haven't played golf now for over a year because um, yeah, I, I kept getting back back um, twinges as such and. You know, it wasn't yeah you know, anything major, but it was interrupting my my training. So you know, you're you're going into a home Olympics. You can't have any any issues. And you know, as much as I enjoy golf, it's not the be all and end all. Well, any athlete that you know sits here and, and doesn't say they're striving towards you know uh, an Olympic medal, you know, I, I, I'm going to question. But um, yeah, for me, you know, that's certainly the target. But I know that. You know, that's that's not really anything in my control. The only thing that's in my control is to go out there and, and perform like I do in training. And if I do that, if I perform to the best of my ability, then I'll be competitive. And, and that's all you can ask.